Welcome to another edition of Inside Medicine. I'm your host, Doug Geinzer, the CEO of Las Vegas Heels. And we're here in the studio today with Mike Green and Nayeli Garcia from Pharmascript, Las Vegas's and Nevada's first ambulatory infusion center. For those of you that are new to Inside Medicine, we broadcast live in the studio here every Thursday at 10 a.m. And after that, we rebroadcast out on YouTube, of course, our website and all of those social media channels, including iTunes, Roku, Stitcher, Spotify, and I'm sure there's a bunch more that I don't know about, but (laughs) you could catch us just about anywhere. As well as you, if you subscribe to Heels Headlines, you'll see a copy of this in the upcoming newsletter. But we'd like to bring in leaders, movers, shakers, and those doing innovative things in healthcare in Las Vegas. And obviously, an ambulatory infusion center is new to Las Vegas. It's surely an innovative uh, thing that they're bringing here, and it's going to deliver better patient care. We're going to hear all about that today. So welcome to the studio, Mike, and welcome to the studio, Nayeli. Thank you. So a lot of people are probably asking, what is PharmaScript? Uh, PharmaScript is a specialty pharmacy, has two components. The first one is a special a specialty pharmacy, and the second one is like uh, ambulatory infusion center. So a specialty pharmacy, putting drugs together that you typically can't find in a normal pharmacy, and you mix it up and provide it? Uh, no. No. It's, All right, thank you. That's exactly what we're looking for. Usually we, we have a specialty in specialty medications. Uh-huh. Uh, we ship the medications to the doctor's office uh-huh. or to the ambulatory infusion center. So I want to know ambulatory infusion center. No, Nevada doesn't have one. What is exactly an ambulatory infusion center? An ambulatory infusion center is similar to an outpatient center. Okay. So patients come in there and they get infused for specialty medications, oncology, chemotherapy, mm-hmm. Different types of gastroenterology medications, Remicade, Stellara, and Tivio. They are the biologics. Oftentimes, you've heard of biologic therapy. So, as immune modulators are developed and medicine is going that way to help prevent disease and treatment. So, those are typically what we're doing. And so these exist in other areas of the country, but it's new to Nevada. So PharmaScript, you all have been around for a period of time. You're successful in the markets of which you serve. Tell us a little bit more about PharmaScript and what it is that you do different. Well, PharmaScript is different because of a couple of reasons. Number one, our customer service is outstanding and our clinical knowledge and expertise is by far above other people. Um, PharmaScript also is open by appointment, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, including holidays. Many hospitals, when a physician is trying to get somebody in for an inpatient or an outpatient infusion, they're limited by the hours. So like Mountain View Hospital or Southern Hills Hospital, they have outpatient centers, but they're limited on the hours. And PharmaScript is capable of doing these after hours, second shift, weekends, Saturdays, Sundays, working around the patient's schedule. So it's almost like a concierge service. It, yes, it's very it's very concierge. And I think when people see some photos of what the uh, infusion center looks like, they're just going to go wow, it's fancier than my house. It is a very spa-like atmosphere. We are very proud of what we do. Our clinical expertise is above and beyond. Like in our ambulatory infusion center, we have a pharmacy inside of it. Very few other infusion centers have that. So they're contracting out with specialty pharmacies. They have to go to different insurance companies. They have to get the medications. All our medications are housed inside the facility. And then we have a laminar flow hood. So ours is a much safer environment because we have a pharmacist on staff that's mixing the medication inside of a laminar flow hood. 
So I want to let's I want to roll a video that you provided us on this laminar flow hood. Okay. Uh, it's something I've never heard of. Uh, Nick Scott, if you guys could cue up that video, would love to see uh, the video on the and, and tell us what a laminar flow hood is because okay. it looks complicated. So the laminar flow hood, the sterile layer is coming out of the back of the hood. And then our technician is mixing here. She's all gowned up according to industry standards. And the air that's coming out of there is sterile. So it leads to less infection rates than just like having a doctor's office or a nursing service mixing it on just like a countertop like this. Yeah. So you have one of these on site? We have one on site in the pharmacy there. Yep. And it leads to great things like our catheter infection rate at Pharmascript is 0.01%. It's like unheard of. That's really good in the industry. So we're not having a lot of complications, patients getting infections, you know, everything that's beneficial to a physician. If you're looking at a catheter infection rate of 0.01%, that's outstanding. It would be certainly something that I would be looking to send my patients to if I ne needed patients with care. So for the layman, and I consider myself one of those, what is infusion therapy? Like what, talk us through what that is for those people that are not aware of it. Let's give them a little bit of clinical education as to what infusion therapy actually is. An infusion therapy is like medication that is administrated by IV, mm -hmm. or it can be uh, administered by a sub-Q or sub uh, Also, we have um, a pretty good staff in the back that's uh, trained, and then they have a lot of experience on these medications. Okay, and like what types of conditions? You, you touched on some of them, mm -hmm. but what are the most common conditions that... Uh, a patient would come to you and seek out infusion therapy? We see a lot of the gastroenterology arena. So your ulcerative colitis, your Crohn's, um, those therapies. We also see a lot of rheumatology and MS. So patients that need like a three or five day burst of solumedrol, mm -hmm. if somebody is having an MS exacerbation. Tysabri is a very expensive therapy that can only be done in an infusion center according to the FDA. Okay. So we see a lot of that. We see some Lemtrada. The new medication, Radicava for ALS. ALS is a very decrepit, not a good yeah. at all. Um, disease state. There hasn't been a new medication for ALS in almost 30 years. Mitsubishi Pharmaceuticals has come out with a product now called Radicava. It's a very uplifting, positive thing for patients with ALS. It's the first medication out in 30 years. Wow. That One of our states. We've got a provider here in town, the Cleveland Clinic, uh, the Institute yep. for Brain Health. And also I want to mention that there's a lot of for soup injectables, like for asthma. So, uh, we use a lot of Solir, Facenra, yep. Nucala. They're all in the market and the TV. Do you guys treat pediatrics as well? We do. We do. Okay, we do. It's, I was an asthmatic child, so I understand <laughs> some of... Uh, the challenges that go, that come with us. Yeah, our, we have a wonderful pediatric room at the Ambulatory Infusion Center. It's painted like a mural with like fish and stuff. And then we have like Xbox, PS4s, you know, Wii's. So the patients, yeah. you know, can feel at home while they're getting the therapy. And I have to tell you, we're excited because Las Vegas Heels is hosting one of our healthcare happy hours uh, mm -hmm. at your infusion center tonight. And so we get to reveal what yeah. this looks like. We've had a lot of our members going, what exactly is this? What are they up to? Um, and it's going to be an amazing night because they're going to come in, they're going to get to see uh, what this place looks like. And when I say, con again, concierge, it's, it's nicer than my house. Yeah, uh, it, 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 we certainly welcome that. We th we think 
if you see what we have to offer, there's no difference at all for the patient payment. The insurance company pays one price, so we don't charge anything extra for all the things that we have. We have a lot of extra technology that we use. We use the Visi Mobile system. The Visi Mobile system is something that is hooked up to you and it records the vitals and everything like every 30 seconds. We have a Doppler imaging system. So when we can't, fi when we can't find a vein or somebody's dehydrated, that helps us find the vein underneath their skin. So almost, not quite, but almost guarantee one stick. Yep. So that's a real advantage to patients. And then the other thing that we have is a robot system. So we have this little robot that goes around by itself and it's almost like FaceTiming the physician. You know, infusion therapy, all our nurses are very caring. But sometimes we have patients that are nervous. You know, it's their first treatment. So they want to converse with their nurse at the doctor's office. They want to converse with the doctor. So it's like this little robot goes around and it FaceTimes awesome. us so everybody can see that. And then there's mobile communication back and forth between the doctors you know, we guarantee, you know, we're giving the doctor's office nursing notes back in 24 hours. When we first started coming to Las Vegas, we met with a physician over at the GI group. And his biggest thing was, you know, I send people to the hospital and I never get any report back on that. So did they show up for the infusion? How did they do? Did they have an allergic reaction? Did they do this? You know, how was it? Did they have a nice experience? You know, and then they don't ever hear back. They usually call the doctor after the infusion is complete if it, to report if they have any allergies, any symptoms. So the doctor is right away aware. So you guys, it sounds like you're fixing what I would call the biggest flaw in healthcare delivery today, and that's just the coordination of care. Yes. Um, yes. Making sure that the loop is closed because right now the breakdown of communication between providers is where we have incidents that occur. Yes, usually when we receive the referral, we call right away the doctor that we receive the referral and we check in eligibility and benefits. So that's where we start. After we check the eligibility and benefits, uh, we submit the pre-authorization. Uh, after we have a, we follow every day, usually it's depend on the insurance, how long it will take. If each insurance is different, and after we have the approval, we call right away. Uh, we look also for any uh, copay assistance. So the pay, we build the, the, the primary, that is the insurance. And if the, any balance, we look for the copay assistance. So we're trying to uh, um, have any responsibility built to the secondary, that is the copay assistance. So the patient will have like $5 copay. You just answered one of my big questions is, yeah. is this covered by insurance? What does that look like? Because that's a, a big concern for people is, is yes. this coverable? Is this an included uh, benefit? We uh, the when we receive the referral, we always make sure to call uh, one or two times to confirm that it's covered by the yep. insurance. Uh, we have uh, authorization that is covered by the insurance, and then we have uh, everything so mostly patient, we make sure the patient is not going home with a bill. Surprise billing. Yes. Yeah, that's a big issue in this town. Yeah, and yeah. let me just comment on one of your one of your past comments. Coronation. Yeah. What's more important to a patient with cancer mm -hmm. who's got a PCP oncologist? Might have a surgeon, might have, you know, radiology. Mm -hmm. You know, we try and facilitate that. Yep. We do a lot of chemo oncology type infusions. We're certainly capable of doing that. Um, but that coronation of care should be the standard in healthcare today. It's the weakest link in the chain. Correct. It's yep. the weakest link. And we're Heels is very focused on how do we fix that. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like you guys are doing a big part of that in, in your world. So very big. So let's talk about a 
the patient experience. The patient presents themselves to the center and, and let's pull up a couple photos because this, you, your center is not the typical uh, center. Again, it's, it's better than half of our hotels in town. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> so walk us through the patient experience. They show up, what, what, what can the patient expect? The patient first gets a phone call from our coordinator at the facility to schedule the infusion. And when they walk in, they should just be amazed. Mm -hmm. They're greeted in a nice, clean environment. Um, you can't see it, but on this side is a juice bar with some drinks, some snacks and everything you know, help them feel at home. And that also helps hydrate them. Like, you know, the sub, you know, the other messages here, it's better for to be well hydrated coming to infusion center. I can imagine that. Yeah. But they will. So up there is where the coordinator is. She calls, schedules the patient the day before she'll give them a courtesy reminder, you know, make sure they're coming in. And then when they come through here, the nursing station is over on the left there. So the nurses sit right there. All these are private infusion suites. So people aren't together. Correct. They're, they've got a private room of their own. Yeah, they have a private room. So that's awesome for the patients. We have luxury loungers. We have a couple of community rooms. So to your left there, right in this area here, this is a community room. So if a patient wanted to bring their family, you know, they would have no problem, you know, sitting there and conversing and stuff. There's televisions there to watch back on. Here's some of the drinks here. If you look over here, so there's some drinks in there. We have coffee, you know, whatever they need. And then they get one-on-one -on -one service. That's a big thing that we offer compared to other infusion centers don't. Many of the physicians that send their patients to the hospital I've been at hospitals. I've been at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. I've been at various hospitals where they just, everyone is in a room and you're closed off by a curtain, but you yeah. still hear every single thing. So if I have a problem and Nayeli's a patient next to me, she's hearing all that stuff. Here it's all private where you're going into the rooms and then we have a couple in the way back is our VIP area. So back here, if a patient needs a little bit extra care, you know, not only like VIP generally means very important person. Mm -hmm. Pharmascript thinks every single patient is a very important person. Yep. So in the back area is our nice VIP room with a fireplace, huh. you know, everything right back there juice bar in there just very nice area there yeah with a beautiful view out that window you can't see it here but there's a mountain out there so it's just an incredible thing these are probably the most comfortable chairs you've ever sat in and there's the fireplace under the television it's just a wonderful site we employ a full-time cleaning person mm-hmm and he does a great job of keeping the facility very clean. I want to say something because I'm a mom of two, you know, and then uh, if he is anyone they he needs to bring the kids over there, they can yeah. have it. Like they, they have a special room for the kids so they can play. Which is critical. Yes. Because yeah. I've got a young one at home and Correct. to try and to get you don't her have a babysitter. to sit still. Um, yeah, it doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it and just also doesn't we happen. work with the patients for like uh, morning appointments, afternoon, weekend, so we can handle like every schedule that the patient so can have available. Yeah, let's jump in. So the patient comes in here, they've got this utterly amazing experience, concierge like experience, at probably one of the more challenging points in their life. Uh, they don't want to be there, but you make it the most welcoming, like uh, home. Yeah. yeah. So when they leave, what can that patient expect? Uh, after they leave, in, the, the, the nurse who is in charge usually take notes. Mm -hmm. uh, they have like, they have to follow the next schedule visits. Yep. 
they have to call the, the doctor's office if it was any reaction. And also, if the infusion is, takes more than four hours, we provide meals. Oh, wow. So we <laughs> get the menu with any uh, restaurant that they would like. Yep. And they just choose uh, whatever food that they want. Right? Yep. Yep. This is amazing. So we've talked about the benefits to the patient. What about the providers? You know, what, how does the provider work with you? What are the benefits to the providers to refer to you? Because we're, Heels is a group of providers. Yeah. How do they best interact with you? And what's the benefit of PharmaScript over their current choices? Well, I would say the biggest benefit of us is we are staffed to do same day referrals. So if we get a referral coming in the door, like take that patient with MS exacerbation, if she can get approval for the solumedrol, which is generally pretty quick, we could get the patient in that same day. In a hospital center, most of them don't start patients after four or 5 p.m. We have no problem starting somebody at seven, 8 p.m. Wow. So that's a huge benefit to the physicians. The catheter infection rate is 0.01% is a great, I mean, any physician out there should feel very comfortable sending them to a facility like ours. The laminar flow hood is an extra added precaution to the mixing process to keep the products sterile so less infection rates the technology the visi mobile system the doppler imaging system the robot using technology the efax the e-scripts i mean the stuff that they can send All over the state of the art technology is is very good but basically our clinical expertise yep. you know we have a couple we have several other sites nationwide this is our first one to Nevada and hopefully not our last. So we have a couple other things possibly planned for Nevada. So we're going to see where this goes. I can tell you at our other sites, we offer many more features. You know, we have home health, we have social work, physical therapy on, you know, occupational therapy, speech therapy, home health. So, and we have sterile USP 797, USP 800 pharmacies that do home infusion. So these are all possibilities that we could bring to Nevada someday, and we're very happy to be here. So we had a guest uh, text in a question, and the question was, do you do stem cell therapy? We yes. do do stem cell therapy. We it, Go ahead, Nail. This is like an alternative um medications that we do on the site usually it's not covered by the insurance uh but we have a pretty good prices okay yeah we do uh cocktail myers and uvlrx and and that one as well yeah right. it, yeah but we can also help with the nutrition oh yeah um you know mm -hmm. some of the like she's saying the myers cocktail basically vitamin b's vitamin c's some amino acids um you know, the UVLRX, mm -hmm. you know, is good. With the stem cells, we have a great, we have a great safe provider now. There's been some issues with stem cells, as you know, over the last year, like a, a company has had a major recall, you know, and we are not having any of those issues because we've got providers that don't have any, you know, safety trends. The banana bags, like big in Nevada, you hear about is these mm -hmm. banana bags. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that's sort of over helpers. <laughs> <laughs> we got yeah. a lot of that going on in Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's something certainly, you know, we're capable of doing also. Sure. Sure. Yep. So first and foremost, thank you to our guest out there that texted that in. And it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's great when we get some interaction. We've covered quite a bit of ground here, but there's probably some stuff that we did not cover that you wanted to make sure that our audience is aware of. Um, what would that be and what messaging would you like to share with an audience of providers? I just want to say, like, uh, give us a try. Uh, give us our first referral. Uh, we want to make sure every we're going to complete everything uh, at the appropriate way, and then you're going to send more referrals. 
I would, I would second that. I, I would second that. <laughs> the clinical expertise that we have at PharmaScript, we have over 55 years of clinical expertise wow. amongst our sites. Yep. And that's just in pharmacy. Nursing, mm-hmm. I'm sure it's a lot more. Yeah. So I don't think any doctor would be disappointed in giving us a referral. Thank you. Thank you both for your time today. This is great. I look forward uh, to tonight when we get to give uh, the provider base and our membership uh, a real look at the facility. Uh, And those viewers and our audience that uh, are able to make it out tonight, uh, 530 to 730, and we're going to be doing an open house. And I know they've got some amazing gifts, including a bottle of Dom Perignon, some tickets to uh, Lady Gaga. Uh, it's going to be a world-class, first-class event. So oh, this huh? is going to be awesome. So thank you both for being on the show. Uh, those of you that uh, made it through the end, thank you for joining us for another edition of Inside Medicine. And we look forward to seeing you next week. And we'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.